William, your your thoughts on the Ballyhale Burst League game? What decided it? Do you think? Um, what decided it? I mean, it was it was a very tightly fought contest. Um, I think what probably decided it was that Ballyhale had probably been there before. Uh, they, they managed the game quite well in the closing in the closing segments, but they also had, you know, when you have players like TJ Reid, who's, you know, he scored a free there in the second half from the sideline inside his own sixty five, and just to be able to produce those moments in quality, probably opened up the gap towards the end. But I think it was a it was very it was a very tight contest, and I think Boris Ali should be, uh, you know, they they should really be given a lot of credit for what they've done this year. You know, a lot of people kind of left that underdog tag stick with them but I mean they were fantastic Munster champions won a fantastic All-Ireland semi-final and you know I thought they, they performed very well yesterday you know and I, you know some of the coverage of them was probably a small bit condescending in that you know it's just a lovely story but I think they were a fantastic team throughout the year and they, they were very unlucky not to, to go all the way. Do you think there's a value in having been out here before and had a few club runs to then having the experience to take that extra pass like Ballyhale were doing, whereas Burris Lee probably forcing shots from areas where it probably really wasn't on. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, you could say that, but I think Ballyhale had a good few wides as well where they probably took, you know, snapshots. Um, I, I don't think it necessarily has that much of an impact because sometimes when you're on that run, you get confidence, like um, the full forward, uh, Jerry, Jerry, Kelly. Jerry Kelly. I mean, like, you know, you can say that you know, if he if he had played there ten times, you'd say that he just knows where the goalposts are here. But you know, it was his maybe one of his first times, and he was still as accurate as he was. So you can get that, you can get that energy from it being your first time, or you know, you could you could put it down to being a season campaigner. But I just think that you know the exposure to the type of game, the way it panned out yesterday. I'm sure if Barcelona had their time back in the second half, they would have you know maybe different shot selections. But that that you know that comes. With time, I, I remember in the Pearshig we played uh, Portumna in 2013 and we got beaten by a very, very um, well-seasoned Portumna team. And the next time we, we got into an All-Ireland series, we ended up winning it. You know, and there's no doubt that that, that, that would have matured us, in, in for, for want of a better word. Um, I think Bursley put up a really good show. Um, it's probably the, probably the best team in the land for the last number of years. Um, Look at sure. I just think Ballyhale probably had too much class in the end. Um, there's probably too many marksmen that uh, that you know, if one fellow wasn't doing it, you know, another that could just step up and uh, they, pr- they just had probably too much in the end. It's like having TJ Reid and, and Colin Fenley, Adrian Mullen. You're used to it at intercounty level. How do you put out all them different fires? Is that kind of it? Yeah, of course. And sure, at, at a club level, you, you know, the top club teams in, in each county would probably have one or two. Um, and to be honest, I actually think their other forwards are, are, are probably getting underrated for the, uh, the best of times as well, um, and they, they need a good bit of looking after as well. So, um, look at uh, I think it was just a complete comfo- perfor- uh, performance by by everybody, and uh, yeah, saying that, uh, you know, I thought Bursley put up a great fight, and um, when Kelly there in, mid- in full forward was unbelievable. Um, to be honest, he was probably my man of the match. I know. Losing sides rarely get it, but you get seven points, six from playing one line ball in an all the final is uh, is fair going. Seamus, you were you were here for the club final yesterday. What were your thoughts on a Ballyhale winning by three? Um, yeah, Ballyhale. Look, they have, a, they have a savage team to be fair. Um, but Boris Lee gave them loads of it now, and I was expecting it to be a tight game to be honest. Um, but Boris, yeah, can be very proud of themselves. Uh, they've had a fantastic year. I know they might be disappointed not to not to win yesterday, but they can be very proud of their efforts throughout the year. And and even and yesterday they gave, you know, a great account of Tipperary hurling there, and uh, everyone was was really proud of them. What do you think was the difference in the end? Um, it could have been a little bit maybe experience. You know, you see like some Michael Fenley there and 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 TJ, I suppose. Uh, you know, um, but I think that uh, look, Belly Hill just have the players that have played here many the time and they've great experience in the in the team and. They, um, just a fantastic club, really. So, um, you know, I, I suppose Boris will probably learn a bit fr- from the first experience here as well. That will bring them on again. Like, but they were, um, they were in hard luck yesterday. You know, like, you know, some fantastic performances there. Like, Jerry Kelly was just on fire yesterday. Seamus Burke was was ber- very good cornerback, and you know, Brendan Daniel go through all the lads there. Like, they all really, um, they, they did their best, and unfortunately, just came up a little bit sharp. But uh, as I said, they can be very proud of them. Is there a big value in having played in Croke Park a few times before? Most of the Burris Lee guys wouldn't have played here before, whereas Bally Hale, they're reigning All Ireland champions and they've been here. Like many of their players, Owen Reid has five All Ireland medals, for example. Yeah, well, look, I don't think um, 
like it's not a case that some of the the first league players you know were were overall by the occasion or anything like that but I suppose when you say that like you know Belly Hale have that experience of being here for the last few I suppose since St. Patrick's Day or whatever like and um, no more than yourselves are cooler it does make a difference um, but I think they're just blessed to sort of the crop they have like um, you know they have inter-county players here if you go through it all like you know there's so many lads at that at that level as well like um, but I just think yeah you know the first 20 minutes Bursley really rattled them I think and uh, kind of there's a few balls maybe they went short into the goalie's hand and that as well when it could have been the time to kind of really put the foot in the throat a bit but um, they done really really well Bursley and they never gave up and they were coming strong again at the end there as well like so there's great heart and, and fight in that team and I just remarked there I thought it was we were driving in past um, Houston Station yesterday and just to see even all the Boris Lee people coming out of Houston Station just flooding out, it kind of just it just shows you like how, how unbelievable it is for, for any club to get to here on St. Pat or not on St. Patrick's Day but on uh, <laughs> Ireland <laughs> Club Day. Um, you know, so it's uh, it has been a probably a dream year and, and, and they've equipped themselves really, really well and everyone is really proud of them in Tipperary. Yeah. Do you think um, other Tipperary clubs, Roman Inch included, will take a bit of encouragement from what Sean Borsley have done? Because, I mean, at the start of the year, you would have fancied yourself to be as good, if not better, than Borsley. Um, I think they gave everyone great hope. Um, they had a, I suppose, their approach was really admirable as well because they just had a really honest group that were really tight knit. It was kind of that real, that real country club kind of a ethic there they brought up to it, like everyone working really, really hard for each other and a real tight knit group, and. Um, you know, they said very admirable stuff, and you know, it's kind of is their work rate all through the year, uh, and then I suppose you have your your stars as well with that. You know, the likes of Brendan Maher can change a the game there, like, and um, we know what he can do, and there's a lot of players like that. JD Devaney coming through there, lots of youth that came in there this year and, and really helped the cause as well with the experience of you know Paddy Sabe and um, Brendan, you know, the likes of that. So it was um to give great ho- hope <laughs> to everyone really. Um, they got on a great journey and built up momentum and it just shows a bit of belief and a bit of momentum and what you can do so um, they kind of they set the level that I suppose the rest of the clubs in Tipperary need to get up to now so it's up to up to the rest of them to try and prepare like that Thanks for watching our game don't forget to like and share the videos and if you're new to the channel hit subscribe